Rub up your engines! When they say they don't build them like they used to, in this case, it really is true. And here's the phenomenal part, okay? He drove here from Indiana to Tennessee. He got 23 miles a gallon, all right? The other day, a guy brought me a Ford Maverick with just the front wheel drive, four cylinder engine. He got 25 miles a gallon. We're talking about what? 30 years later, and all they get is two miles a gallon better gas mileage. To me, hey, that's not that much of an improvement. But on the other hand, this thing has 83 horsepower. The new Maverick pickup has 253 horsepower. <laughs> Are the paints gonna fade away? It's old. The first 12 years it lived in the garage, needless to say it doesn't anymore. But check out the original wheels. They're still in good shape. You could polish them all out. Yeah, there's some rust on the front ones, but you could polish them out if you want. But I mean, they look good enough as it is on an old truck. And being in Indiana, he's got the normal northern trick. He's put this weight in here, so when there's slush and snow, he's not gonna slide around as much. It is a rear wheel drive pickup after all. Be it, an historic one, so it doesn't have to get any kind of inspection. He doesn't have to worry about all that nonsense, the stupid little lights coming on. Most places, even Rhode Island, when they get to be older, you can get historic plates and you don't have to get the emission stuff tested, which is great on an older vehicle because they're never gonna be absolutely perfect and you might have to spend a small fortune for some dumb thing just because the government says there's a light on. We'll go under the hood. And it's old school with a notch on the bottom. It's a four cylinder engine. It's 2.3 liters. And here's the interesting thing. This thing is 30 years old, and guess what? It's still got the original timing belt on it. <laughs> Showing that yes, indeed, they don't build them like they used to. Since it's got that cool plastic cover, it's so easy to check. You know, most vehicles to get to them is such a pain. But these, if it starts cracking, you can see it's starting to crack. But it's still original after 30 years. Now it's still the original engine, and it's also, not only the original transmission, it's a five speed, but it still has the original clutch in it. Now that's amazing. The good drivers here, they're not people burning things up. It is on its third fan belt, and for once, you can't whine at me. Not calling it a drive belt, because it's a fan belt. Here's the fan, it drives a fan, so it is a fan belt. Now it may be old, but still, it's got port fuel injection. That's one of the reasons they can get decent gas mods for a pickup truck. There's a mass air flow sensor. It still has the original radiator. Now I guess they made plastic better in those days because it is a plastic radiator with aluminum core, but it's still original. And we're talking about going through Indiana winters. I mean, come on now. They use a lot of salt on the road there. Old school, look, actual chrome not plastic crap and it still looks pretty good the chrome's still good here now this is for tow and that's not chrome plated but this is and it's still in pretty good shape even the ford emblem the blue oval showing the test of time and hasn't faded away yet and really i'm getting 23 miles a gallon with this extra weight and the toolbox extra weight kind of amazing when you think about it we'll go inside this old truck and check it out i hear a few creaks typical but a basic but well thought out Dash. You got charging, water temperature, oil pressure, and fuel. And of course, back in those days, they only made the speedometers go up to 85 miles an hour. You know, a little faster than 85, but really, you wouldn't want to push it more. Maybe it'll go 96 miles an hour. Have we here a blast from the past? A realistic CB radio. Dash is cracked. They didn't make dashes all that well back in the day. And that's cracked away. But hey, it's got hand crank windows that still work. These are the open windows, for those of you who don't know what they do. <laughs> we'll put it neutral and start it up. Got to get the old keys for that. No modern key is going to work in this thing. That looks like an old Ford key. Let's see if that works. Yes, indeed it does. Doesn't shake. Idles pretty good. It's only got 32,629 miles on it. That's the problem with old speedometers. They only go to 99,999, then they start at zero. Well, they're the original owners, the father is, so it's got 132,000 miles on it. But I mean, if you didn't know, it could have two or 332,000 miles. That's the problem of buying cars back in the old days. When I was a kid, the next door neighbor bought a used Ford, and he thought it had 40,000 miles on it. Turns out it really had 240,000 miles. And when they were driving us to elementary school, the thing blew up <laughs> while we were going down the road. And he found out that indeed, that's how many miles it had on. He was mad at the sales guy, but 
there was nothing they could do about it. Now, as we go under the running engine, it might be 30 years old, but you can get parts for these readily. All right, the brake master cylinder goes out, go to AutoZone or someplace, they'll have it starters, alternators, power steering pumps. They used to standardize a lot of stuff, and these parts are readily available, even though it's a 30 year old vehicle. So it's not like you're buying something that you can't get parts for. What about these old four bangers is, look at the working room. <laughs> Now, if you look at a modern Ford, especially the bigger V engines, you can usually get the two of the cylinders and the rest are all hidden under the cab and they're impossible to work in. These things are kind of like a Model T Ford. There's so much working room that when you do have to work on them, hey, it's very easy to replace parts. Now, as most typically older Fords do, the air conditioning on this thing doesn't work. But as we look, because it's broken, it's because it never had one in the first place. This is a basic truck in Indiana. Back in the day, people weren't weenies like they are today. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't have to have air conditioning in Indiana. Just like back in the day, you know, it's my missing tooth. Well, we didn't wear helmets and stuff playing hockey in Canada back in the day, so my fake tooth has come out, so I gotta get a new one put in today. People were tougher in those days. We need to toughen up America instead of being as wimpy as everybody's turning into. Let's face the facts, 96% of Americans don't know how to drive a standard transmission anymore. This thing still has the original clutch in it. It's not just the original transmission. Everything's original and it still goes down the road. Now he likes his 30 year old one so much. He's also got a 10 year old Ford that he's totally happy with too. But of course, this is a full size truck. It's an F-150 EcoBoost. So it's got a six cylinder engine and this only got 18 miles a gallon because it's a big heavy truck. So <laughs> the old one gets better gas mileage. So let's take the hood down and go for a ride. Still sounds solid. The seat belt still works. We know it starts, we've already done that. And of course, being old as hills, there's no stinking backup camera, but it's still got the original Ford radio. The heat still works now, it doesn't have AC. It's a typical Ford. You can hear the power steering pump. It whines a little bit, but I mean, hey, it still works, so we really don't care. Now, these Rangers were good work trucks. Unfortunately for Ford, Toyota came out with a Tacoma, and now they sell tons more Tacomas than they do Rangers. But on the other hand, Ford sells a ton more F-150s than Toyota does Tundra. You win one and you lose the other. But really, my uncle had one of these outside of Rochester, New York. He drove back out of it, took it to the dumpster. Hey, these things can just run and run and run. And if you're not carrying heavy loads, there's nothing wrong with a Ford banger with a standard transmission now on the other hand if you're looking at one of these four bangers with an automatic transmission i'd say look for v6 then because they really kind of underpowered with the big old automatic on them but with the standard hey they're not race trucks 83 horsepower is 83 horsepower into the countryside where it belongs and we'll take it to drag race land. I don't expect to win any drag races but <laughs> we'll see here we go coming to a stop and on your mark, get set, go. Well, we got the tires to spin a little. And yes, it's not a race truck, but it gets where it's going. It's not misfiring. I don't hear any bad wheel bearings. I mean, hey, it's a fun little truck to drive around. Times change, you're not gonna get a new pickup truck for $79.95 anymore. <laughs> but hey, back in the day, that was a fair price for a truck that obviously in this case gave a lot of serviceable years. It's still going quite well 30 years later living in Indiana. The jacket out is still idling smooth. An old truck, but it still runs really well. Now, as a comparison, an ironic one too. I was just watching a video a guy made on the Ford F-150 Lightning electric pickup truck, right? And Ford says, well, you're getting a bad range because you have to do these seven things. Precondition your vehicle. Keep it in a heated garage. Condition the battery before you drive it. Hey, is it a truck or is it a Christmas tree? Like the owner of this truck said. This can sit outside, start, run in Indiana. Still goes good. This thing has a range of over 400 miles and it's real 400 miles. It doesn't matter whether you precondition it or not. And there's lots of gas stations within those 400 miles. It's not some electric thing that, well, you carry some weight, maybe you can only go 70 miles. Then you gotta find some place to charge it up. And at a level two charger, it's gonna take five to eight hours or more and maybe you won't be able to find a fast charger or maybe you get to one and it's broken. Hey, tried and true technology, you don't have to baby it yet. It still kind of runs like a baby, it's smooth. I don't know what went wrong between now and then, but what can you do? You find one of these in this kind of shape, snap it up, it's a great truck. 
So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.